846. 846, that's uh, what, just about eight minutes or so. And if you want to be precise, at 846 and 38 seconds. And then Eagle, that's the one with Armstrong and Aldrin in it, on the way down to the moon if things have gone well. We expect to hear from them at 848, 848 and 25 seconds. Now, uh, we may not hear right away. Sometimes there's uh, just that agonizing moment when we don't get it, but uh, obviously that is the moment when we will know whether the mission is, by that time, in that particular sphere, 50% successful, they're on course and they're on their way then. I have, in fact, got one of these shock-absorbing sections of leg here, and you can see it's made of a, a soft, crushable, honeycomb aluminium material. I have, in fact, got one of these shock-absorbing sections of leg here, and you can see it's made of a, a soft, crushable, honeycomb aluminium material. Well, David, the uh, times, just for everybody, 8.46, the first hope of news from Collins in Columbia, 8.48, the first hope of news from uh, Armstrong and Aldrin in Eagle on their way to the moon. Uh, I think we just have a, a moment or two, uh, David, before we actually do acquire anything from Houston. Uh, Peter Fairley, can you just remind us now what, in fact, is going to happen? Well, <clears throat> what should happen is when Mike Collins comes round the side of the moon at 8.46, his spacecraft will be pointing down like this, and he will be observing Eagle out of his windows. And Eagle itself will report two minutes later, and we should hear Armstrong reporting his height, which probably will be about 18 miles above the moon, his position over the moon's surface, and the angle of his approach. Then at 9.05 will come what Armstrong calls the tricky moment, the last nine miles when he breaks his engine as hard as he can to slow his speed down from 3,800 miles an hour to a mere one mile an hour for the landing. And his engine will cut automatically at the last moment, and the spacecraft will literally drop the last five feet. Now, this last drop will be literally the crunch to the whole mission. Uh, Eagle has legs with built-in shock absorbers, but they're only designed to accept a moderately hard thump. And if they squash more than 32 inches or buckle severely, then the men may never get off again. Back to Alistair. It certainly should, Peter. And uh, I gather that uh, the moon is visible over Britain tonight, wherever else it isn't visible. There were clouds over London a little while ago, and uh, it wasn't possible to see the moon on this its uh, last night in one particular chapter of history. But there it is, the old moon, the one the cow jumped over, the one the poets wrote about, the one that lovers made love to. And from now on, it's going to be rather a different one. Copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, 
Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Thank you. You're looking good here. Okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. 